Hello, this is Donna Lewis with the Clark County Park District again, bringing to you a crow reading a nature program called Wild Mothers. Remember, crow means children respecting Ohio's wildlife. So we always try to teach you something cool about wild animals or plants in our programs. And we want to try to respect those, right? To treat them with kindness. So. Today we're talking about moms. I wonder why. Mother's Day is just around the corner, right? It's this coming Sunday. So first we're going to read a book like we always do. This one is called Owl Babies by Martin Waddell, illustrated by Patrick Benson. Super cute book. Okay, so this is good for younger kids probably, but others can enjoy it as well. I love kids books. So Owl Babies. Once there were three baby owls, Sarah and Percy and Bill. They lived in a hole in the trunk of a tree with their owl mother. The hole had twigs and leaves and owl feathers in it. It was their house. So here are the owl babies. It looks like there's owl mom watching over them. One night they woke up and their owl mother was gone. Where's mommy? asked Sarah. Oh my goodness, said Percy. I want my mommy, said Bill. Oh boy, they're nervous. Look, there's Bill, he really wants his mommy. They don't know where she went. Have you ever lost track of your mom? The baby owl, owls thought, all owls think a lot. I think she's gone hunting, said Sarah. To get us our food, said Percy. I want my mommy, said Bill. So they think, oh, she probably just went to go get some food for us. But Bill is not happy. He's the littlest guy. He's pretty nervous. But their owl mother didn't come. The baby owls came out of their house and they sat on the tree and waited. So they're waiting for mom to come back. What do you guys think she's doing? A big branch for Sarah, a small branch for Percy, and an old piece of ivy for Bill. She'll be back, said Sarah. Back soon, said Percy. I want my mommy, said Bill. He just wants mom. So Sarah must be the largest, and then there's Percy, and then tiny little Bill. It was dark in the woods and they had to be brave for things moved all around them. She'll bring us mice and things that are nice, said Sarah. I suppose so, said Percy. I want my mommy, said Bill. Bill just wants his mommy, okay. Do you guys have a sister or brother like that? Maybe you are like that, that's okay. I'm pretty sure I was. They sat and they thought, all owls think a lot, I think we should all sit on my branch, said Sarah, and they did, all three together. So they're all three sitting together, probably for safety, right? To make each other feel better. Suppose she got lost, said Sarah. Or a fox got her, said Percy. I want my mommy, said Bill, and the baby owls closed their owl eyes and wished their owl mother would come. So they were scared, but they got tired. And she came. There she is, flying in. And owls fly pretty quiet, pretty quietly. Soft and silent, she swooped through the trees to Sarah and Percy and Bill. So there's the owls perched right there. And there's mom coming in to her babies. Where do you guys think she was? Mommy, they cried. And they flapped and they danced and they bounced up and down on their branch. Oh my goodness, they are super excited to see their mom. Look at that. What's all the fuss? Their owl mother asked. You knew I'd come back. The baby owls thought. All owls think a lot. I knew it, 
said Sarah, and I knew it, said Percy. I love my mommy, said Bill. Aww. So they're saying, oh yeah, we knew you'd come back. But you think they were a little worried, a little scared. Probably wild owls would know that mommy's coming back. So that is the end. That was called Owl Babies. Really cute book. Check it out at your local library. And again, this is a collaboration, pro collaborative program with us, Clark County Park District, and the New Carlisle Library. So let's get started on the program. So we're going to talk about wild moms, okay? So think of it. M Mother's Day is this weekend, right? This Sunday. So what kinds of thing do, things does your mother do for you? Okay, so think about that. What things does she do every day? Get you to bed, maybe get your bath feed you. That's one of our jobs. We have to feed you. Um, comfort you. Take care of you if you get sick or if you hurt yourself. Um, help you with your homework. All kinds of things. And also have fun with you, right? So mothers in the wild care for their young as well. They give them food, like our moms. Shelter, right? You guys live in a house or an apartment somewhere, okay? Space to play and run around, and they comfort them like our own mothers. So now we're gonna learn about some of nature's mothers, okay? So let's start with the owl, since we talked about the owl. And this is supposed to be, excuse me, a great horned owl, okay? So great horned owls are raptors, right? They have the sharp beak, sharp talons. And so they prey on other animals for food, things like little birds, rabbits, things like that, okay? Um, they prefer probably mammals, little mammals, okay? Well, mom makes a nest for her babies, right? Pretty makeshift nest, okay? Um, not a fancy nest, I should say, like a, um, like a um, songbird. So mom's gonna make a nest and lay maybe three to four eggs in that nest. And that whole time, once they hatch, she keeps the eggs warm while they're there and dad helps, okay, helps her out. She keeps the eggs warm. And then when they hatch, she is back and forth taking care of those babies. Now, I'm not sure how much a dad owl helps, but I know a lot of birds help take care of their babies okay most birds do help take care of their babies not usually with mammals so much but with birds so the owl mom is going to protect her babies from other animals like crows or snakes or raccoons that might try to get in the nest very fiercely and she's going to bring them food all throughout the day now raptor babies little owl babies don't eat as much i mean they eat more at a time so they don't have to be fed as often she can give them a little bit more at a time now, what about a mother robin, okay? So you guys see these a lot in your yards. They're not so chubby like the stuffed one is, but they're running around and hopping around your yard. What are they looking for? Worms, okay, worms and insects. So they will listen, and when they hear the worm, they get that worm out of the ground. And a lot of times they're gonna be hunting, well, right now they're gonna be hunting a lot, mom and dad, getting food for their baby. So outside of our building here at the Davidson Interpretive Center, we have a mama robin and she is nesting right outside our door. And she is back and forth a lot and so is dad getting food for the baby. Sometimes she'll sit on the nest and dad will go get food for the young. So, well, right now she just got eggs. So he's helping feed her a little bit. But once those babies hatch, she has to feed them every time they are hungry. So she'll bring enough food back for one baby, then she'll go back and get food for the other baby, and then a third baby. And they're born um, usually three days in a row or something like that, like one one day, one another day. And so once the first one's ready to fly, she gets that one out and gets that one started, and then the second one's ready. And so she has time to get each of them going. Kind of like our moms, she doesn't usually have four babies at a time, like a mother robin, but sometimes, let's see, you, your older brother probably learned to walk before you did, right? And then two years later, maybe you learned to walk. We have our babies usually um, one at a time. Sometimes we have more. I'm gonna move this camera so that I have more space here. Okay, so a mother robin is always looking after her young. So what if you find a baby without mom? 
best thing to do is to see if there's a nest close by to see if maybe that baby came out of that nest and you can put the baby back. Now, if it's big enough to run around, like it has its feathers, it's probably learning to fly and mom is probably nearby. So listen and look around and see if you see another robin nearby. If you ever think that mom is not around anymore, you can always call a wildlife rehab center. You can also call us here at the park for advice, okay? So what other kind of wild mothers do you see? So we talked about the owl, the robin. What about the squirrel? We all see squirrels around, right? Now, um, squirrels have their babies usually in the hole of a tree or something called a dray, which is a leaf nest made up high up, 15, 20 feet up in a tree usually, okay? So she will lay three to six babies, something like that, in her nest, okay? And they are born with no fur, just like a bird's born with no feathers. A baby squirrel's born with, born with no fur. And so she has to keep them warm. So the babies packed in that nest together help keep each other warm. And she will go back and forth and find food for her babies once they're old enough to eat, okay? Now, the good thing about her, it's not like a bird. She doesn't have to go like right away and find them food, okay? Because she has her milk. So like a mother cat or dog, she's a mammal. So she feeds her babies her milk. So she nurses them. And then when they're old enough to eat more other food, she'll find them some food and get them to eat other food. And then when they're big enough, they'll leave the nest and they'll go out with her from the nest and try to start finding food on their own until they're big enough to be on their own. So she is with them during that whole time and probably they probably stay with her for about eight weeks, okay? Now a bird, she takes care of her babies for about three weeks till they leave the nest and then stays with them a little longer. Now some birds will take care of their babies longer, like owls, they usually keep take care of their babies longer. But mother, wild mothers usually don't have their babies for 18 years, right? They usually have them for a very short period of time because they grow faster. What about a deer? This one, a lot of times people think a deer is abandoned because they see a deer by itself, like in, sitting in the grass. Well, mama deer leaves baby alone for maybe three to four hours hiding in the grass. They don't have a scent and this dappled pattern up here helps them blend in when the sun shines on them okay helps them blend in tall grass so if you see a deer a fawn baby deer by itself don't think that mom's abandoned it just keep an eye out and she should be back later to feed them mama deers go out mama deers mama deer go out during the day and at night to to find food they have to forage for food and then the baby will nurse on their mom like a baby squirrel okay so what about ducks? So this is like a baby domestic duck, okay? So what about baby ducks? Now when baby ducks are born, they can get out of there, they, they can walk right away and find food, but they're not able to be on their own. Mom has to be with them to guard them and watch them. They can't fly yet, and they can't get in the water without the oil from her on their feathers, okay? They have like down, they don't have complete feathers yet. They're feathered, but they don't have feathers like mom yet. So mom has to put oil on their feathers to protect them from the water so that they don't get too cold. So that's why when you have a baby duck yourself, like baby domestic ducks, you can't just let them swim in the water all the time because they can get too cold and it's not good for them. So mom helps them do that, okay? So mom allows them to be able to swim in the water with her and she's always gonna be there to protect them. So if you ever find a baby duck on its own, you probably need to call somebody to get it help, all right? What about, okay, bats, what about bats? Okay, so a bat, this is supposed to be a big brown bat, and we have them in Ohio. They get about a 12 inch wingspan, not very big. They are bug eaters. A big brown bat is going to have its babies like in a barn, cave, um, an old, you know, old building, something like that. And the baby will hang from the top of that cave, let's say, or barn. And, when mom, and usually they'll put, they'll be in big colonies and they'll put all their babies together so they stay warm. So mom goes out, she has, now she nurses her baby, she's a mammal, she flies, but she is a mammal. So she nurses her babies with her milk, okay? Um, like all mammals do. And so when she goes out, she'll go out hunting for insects to eat. 
When she comes back a little bit later to feed her baby again, there's hundreds of babies maybe in one spot. So how does she find her baby? She knows its call. So she listens for the baby sound and finds it right away. Does your mom know what you sound like? Probably. So if there's a bunch of kids in a room and you're saying, mom, mom, and everybody else say, mom, hey, mom, mom, she usually knows which one is, is hers, right? So it's hard to understand unless you're a mom. So mama bat feeds her babies, keeps takes care of them with usually a lot of other babies and a big brown bat anyways. And so she will have sometimes help from other mothers. So they all, all their babies stay together to keep warm and they all kind of help protect each other's babies with their numbers, okay? So because they have to worry about things like owls, snakes, um, dogs and cats sometimes at night. So if they keep their babies together, I'm not sure, but I think there has been proof that other moms will help with the babies. All right, now, Mama Fox. There's another mammal that you might see in your yard right now because she's having her kits. Her kits are little right now in their den. So um, she's going to be seen maybe running in the back of your yard to find food. What kind of food? Not your dogs and cats, okay? She is looking for easy things to get, like little voles and mice and rabbits and things like that to bring back to her young to eat. She is nursing, okay, she will nurse, but once they are big enough, she has to find food to feed herself and the babies. Now, sometimes there is, um, um, usually there's a dad as well helping. So sometimes when mama's gone, the dad will take over. That happens in raptors as well, like peregrine falcons that nest on tall buildings. They've seen the dad take care of the babies after something's happened to mom. So a lot of times it's both mommy and dad taking care of them a lot like us, okay? Now, what about those moms that leave right away? Wow, what a terrible wild mother, right? Well, it's the way nature is. So a box turtle will lay her eggs in the soil, okay? And then she leaves, she's off, she's gone. Well, when box turtles are born, this is just the way it is with nature. So her job as a mom is to get those babies to a place safe and bury them and hide them when the babies are born. They have the instinct to know what to do. So is she a bad mom? No. That's just what she's supposed to do. So baby turtles and most baby snakes and some other animals when they're born, like a lot of insects, are born and they are they take care of themselves right away. Instinct tells them what to do. And they're like a miniature mom turtle. They're like a miniature adult. Now, wouldn't that wouldn't work with a baby robin or baby bat because they don't have their fur feathers yet and they can't take care of themselves. So different animals are different, but wild mothers are amazing and they know what to do. Sometimes we don't understand it, but it's important to let wild mothers take care of their babies. And if you ever have a question about that, then you can call a park and ask them about the natural history of an animal. You can always look it up and make sure you look up a couple sources, okay? And you can always call a wildlife rehab center if you have questions about if you think an animal might need help, all right? Okay, so that's all for today. Don't forget your moms this Sunday. Make her a card, make her breakfast, do something special. Be really good on Sunday, okay? So Mother's Day is this Sunday, so make sure you say Happy Mother's Day to your mom. And look outside and see what the other moms are doing out there. All right. Thanks so much, guys. Oh, and I almost forgot. I really did almost forget. If you're in the um, summer reading program, I think it's called, with Miss Maggie, you're, you need your secret word. And your secret word of the day is nurture because mothers nurture us. So nurture, N-U-R-T-U-R-E. So that's the word that Miss Maggie needs. Okay, everybody. Thank you. Until next time. Bye-bye.